In this video, we are showing you a solution for solving mission 15 called Research Vessel from the first LEGO League Challenge submerged robot game. This mission represents a research vessel loaded with samples and artifacts. 20 points are awarded if the yellow latch on the right port near the blue launch area is latched in the research vessel's loop. 5 points can be scored for each sample, each trident part, and the treasure chest you've collected earlier and loaded into the ship's cargo area. Note that you can score the 20 latching points without loading the ship, and the 5 points per item loaded count even if the ship is in the left port or anywhere else on the field, including the home areas. Note that there is an equipment constraint for this mission. The robot or any team equipment must not touch the mission model at the end of the match to score points. We are using the Spike Prime Advanced Driving Base built from the instructions provided in the Spike Prime software. Let's dive in and see how we accomplished this mission. For our solution, we built two different attachments for interacting with the vessel. To load the ship, we decided to do that by hand in the home area between the two separate launches. In the first run, we are reusing the lift arm with the axle contraption from Mission 4 Scuba Diver and Mission 15 Sample Collection to bring the research vessel home. We attached the axle contraption on the other side of the lift arm with the axles pointing down. To deliver the vessel to the right port, we built a passively extending frame to guide the ship across the mat into the port. The Spike Prime Advanced Driving Base is too wide to fit between the artificial habitat and the southern wall like a smaller robot would be able to, so we opted for this solution. In the first run, our robot uses the lift arm with the axle contraption to hook the ship's loop and guide it out of the left port back to the left launch area. There, one of our technicians swaps the lift arm attachment with the passive boat guide attachment and loads the vessel with the trident parts, water, plankton, and seabed samples from Mission 14, Sample Collection, as well as the treasure chest we retrieved from Mission 7, Kraken's Treasure. Ideally, loading is done while the robot is out on the field solving other missions, but for this video we're just focusing on one mission. Once loaded, the robot is aligned and launched. It pushes the boat east, past the left port, and then guides it to the channel between the artificial habitat and the southern wall. Since the advanced driving base is too wide to fit between them and push the boat all the way to the right port, the robot drives backwards to extend the frame attachment, allowing it to push the boat further until the loop of the research vessel latches into the right port. For solving this mission, you earn 5 points for each collected item at least partially in the research vessel's cargo area at the end of the match. There is 6 items in total, 3 different types of samples, 2 trident parts, and the treasure chest, to score up to 30 points total. If the port's latch is at least partially inside the research vessel's loop at the end of the match, another 20 points can be scored, for a maximum of 50 points if all parts are completed. 